when I feel like I'm sinking under the terrible weight of it all and have swallowed mouthfuls of worry, be it for the dreams I've whispered instead of spoken life into, for the friendships I've mourned as heartbreaks, for the times I've entered into battle with glass armor on those days. I spill words onto paper like ink blots to decipher the chaos of my mind. I meditate on melodies soothing as grandmother's prayers. I dance my unshackled body as if casting protective incantations. I sew back together the pieces of me, doubt cut and fashion my identity whole. I capture images to hold time to witness the beauty of my vista. I bend back book spines to let new thought illuminate like lighthouses journeying me back home. See, I need to feel something deeply far greater than fear. I need to unfold into patient arms when I'm at my most vulnerable. I need to be spoken to in a language that my soul is fluent in. Creativity is a polyglot that's mastered humans like a fine art. It sent us on pilgrimages, seeking creation on painted holy temples, sung songs of lament in mother tongues for the loved ones who returned to the soil as vogued in ballrooms. Doid doid during protests, passed down recipes as heirlooms, broke the universe open far beyond the stars, its fort. Bare knuckle brawls against the status quo, redefined normality, carried folklore, coined culture, it's turned the ordinary into sublime. Poetry, written for those who set blazing fires in our hearts, for those who've led revolutions armed with placards and clenched fists, for those who've been left weary and empty, scrolling screens, searching for reasons to laugh again, and oh, we've laughed again. Pierced the silence of isolation, resounding symphonies of togetherness that remind us we are still human, imperfect, and constantly healing. When I feel like I'm sinking under the terrible weight of it all, I create, I receive, I share. For this imagination doesn't belong to me. It passes through me like a visitor that I will always make room for.